Hello friends and welcome to another episode of Team Jesus Outdoors. Today I've got for you guys a few tips for post-spawn walleye in the Detroit River. I got one. Is it a walleye? I think so. Okay. I mean, we're not going to get the net ready unless it's a walleye. <laughs> I'll let you know in a second here. It's fighting. It's a walleye. Looks like a walleye to me. All right. Nice job, Dave. Were you jigging pretty aggressively, or? Yep. Okay. So, guys, from about sometime during the month of May. Generally, that water temperature hits the mid to upper 50s, we'll say, is a general rule of thumb, not a hard rule, but as a general rule of thumb. Water temp somewhere in the mid to upper 50s. The majority of your fish that primarily come into the river just to spawn, they've come into the river, they've spawned, they've left the river, they're back out Lake Erie, or they're back up to St. Clair. And at that point, what we're left with are a few stragglers, plus whatever resident fish stay in the river pretty much year round. From that point till about sometime between early June and mid June, is kind of what I would refer to as the post spawn period here in the Detroit River. And there can, some years there's some incredible fishing during the post spawn. But most years there's some sort of a most years you'll find some sort of a post spawn bite in the Detroit River. My first tip for that post spawn bite is this. Don't miss the low light opportunities. So it gets daylight about six o'clock this time of year. So I'm talking about being on the water between 5:30 and 6 o'clock. And guys, from about 5.30 until about 8 or 8.30, there can be a really, really hot low light bite. And my preference for chasing those fish is jigging. A lot of guys by now have already put their jigging rods away, but that low light bite is a great opportunity for jigging. Then you'll have, a low, then you'll have another low light opportunity an hour or so before dark and just into dark. Over the past two or three seasons, those of us that jig the Detroit River a lot for walleye have been catching a lot of log perch uh, by accident. guys over at Lure Lipstick have recently released a finesse style minnow in a log perch pattern that as you can see is an excellent representation of a log perch out of the Detroit River. Hey guys, another phenomenon that we quite often deal with in the month of May, particularly the last half of the month of May and into June, typically this time of year we're dealing with clearer water. We get less rainfall, we get less runoff, so we've got clear water. And when we get clear water like that, bait color selection starts to make more of a choice. More of a bait color selection becomes a little bit more important. Without question, one of the best presentations in the Detroit River 
for post-spawn walleye is presenting a crawler harness behind a bottom bouncer. Mike, you got one on your rod. On your white rod. Yeah. Thank you. I don't know if I spent enough time screwing around with another rod. Did I? <laughs> yeah. Guys, day in, day out, my bread and butter tactic for this time of year is going to be pulling crawler harnesses behind bottom bouncers. Crawler harnesses and bottom bouncers is a tactic you can employ throughout the entire day. It's a walleye. Yeah, it's a keeper. I can't get any higher. It's a nice walleye. Like I said, I like to still jig that low light period in the morning if I can find an active school of fish. But if I don't find an active school of fish right away, then I'm pretty quickly gonna switch over to crawler harnesses and bottom bouncers, because I'm gonna cover a lot more water that way. See, I just gotta be screwing around with something else. Yeah. During that post-spawn window, crawler harnesses and bottom bouncers are definitely my go-to bread and butter presentation right now. Guys, there's a number of challenges that make this post-spawn bite a whole lot tougher than the spawning fish that we love to jig for here in the river. For starters, we just have fewer fish in the river, and a lot of times those fewer fish will get scattered there's 30 miles of river here and they'll get scattered throughout all 30 miles of that river. So it's a lot tougher to land on a school and stay on that school all day long. Besides that, there's a lot less information available this time of year. There's a lot fewer guys on the river. A lot of your walleye guys have uh, pulled their boats out of the marina by now. A lot of guys are on to fish in Lake Erie. A lot of guys have, are on to fish in St. Clair. A lot of guys simply have other outdoor interests. So there's a lot fewer boats on the river. But there's just a lot less information out there floating about. All the walleye pages that we're all members of on Facebook. There's a whole lot less chatter on those walleye pages or the fishing forums that some of us rely on for, for information. There's a lot less information out there on the fishing forums because there's just a lot fewer guys chasing fish. I know for me personally, from about mid-April to mid-May, mid I've got more than a dozen friends that are on the water any given week. So getting information during that time period is pretty easy for me. In fact, getting reliable information is quite easy. But here during the post-spawn, inf good information is a lot trickier to come by. I have a lot fewer friends that are still out on the river. Like I said, on, on the internet, there's less information available. So it's just a little trickier to get information on where a fish being caught sometime by late May or early June you're starting to deal with a lot more vegetation and trying to pull bottom bouncers when you're dealing with a lot of weeds can be kind of a headache there's just a number of challenges we deal with this time of year that we don't deal with during the typical spawning season
Hey guys, the bottom line is this. Post spawn on the Detroit River, there's still a there's still definitely without question a fishable population of walleye in this river. It's a tad trickier, a tad more challenging to find the fish, but there's plenty of opportunity to find and to catch fish in the post spawn. It's a great time to be pulling crawler harnesses. And guys, I'd love to hear from you guys. What are some of your, what is your favorite post-spawn tactic on the Detroit River? And what tips would you offer for fishing the post-spawn of the Detroit River? Guys, thank you so much for all of your support. Hey guys, I say it all the time, but there's only two kinds of men in this world. There are men that need Christ, and there are men that need more of Christ. Fellas, I pray that you would I pray that you would examine your heart, determine which of those you are, and I pray that you would use this year to take your next steps with the Lord Jesus Christ. Friends, we've got another, we've got another YouTube channel, TJO Men's Ministry. We'll leave a link here at the end of the video to that channel. But guys, I'd really encourage you to check out that channel. I think we've got a little bit of something for everybody who's pursuing their next steps with the Lord Jesus Christ. Guys, thanks for all your support. Make sure to click that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. God bless tight lines. We'll see you guys on the river.